My name is Camille Salvon Abrahams, and I am wearing many hats, but um, Anime Creep Festival is the main one that I'm um, wearing, but I also am wearing the hat of the Tap Factory, which is the Trinidad and Tobago Animation Production Factory. So my experience here has been phenomenal. I'm a veteran. I'm probably the oldest in, in team. <laughs> Um, but um, that comes with so much experience and so much knowledge of understanding where we came from. And I think people need to understand that when we did this, or when we started 20 years ago, there's no way we could have walked into the space. And it took contribution, it took partnership, it took um, Curban Export doing these kind of things over the years in different spaces for us to now proudly walk these halls. And we are proudly and confidently walking these halls. So um, I've met many, many people, but two really stood out. One is Camille Eden. She is the head of um, um, Nickelodeon um, programming, content acquisition, phenomenal lady. Um, I was fortunate enough to be included in the Women in Animation session in the opening um, where Tap Factory was featured. Um, and that opened up a lot of things because you would think it's women in animation, but it's really about inclusion. That's what they do. So they include everyone. And um, that, was a fo that is a follow-up that I have to put forward. I also met with um, a producer called Hugo Sands. Um, he uh, formerly was with Passion Pictures, but is now independent. And we had a meeting and I showed him one of the trailers we had, which is the Caribe Folk Noir, which is a sort of a darker side or more adult side of animation coming out of the Caribbean. And immediately there was a connection. He saw it fitted, fitting into a sort of a Netflix series. And out of that, I have a meeting in London with someone from Netflix. So that's phenomenal. I mean, just having a meeting with Netflix out of this, that's a win. Um, the difference in participating at, at, at Annecy, um, as I said, I've been here for quite a while, but what this taught me this time is that when I looked at the films that I saw, I was like, we're not far from being here, you know? All we need to do as a Caribbean people is quality. That's all it is. We need to up our quality, right? That, that is it, because when you look at the technology that is happening now, Creating films, creating animation now is not a problem. It is about creating good stories and cr creating quality films. So I think next time we come to Annecy, we should be in cinemas, right? Um, what I'd like to add about my experience that I think we really need to consider, I am here observing a lot. I'm here meeting with people, yes, but I'm not selling a product as such, but I am representing Caribbean films. And um, what I realize is that if we don't stay up on the technology, again, we will be left behind. We will be having to catch up. So if I was very focused on um, um, presentations by Unity, by um, VR virtual reality. I experienced um, a short film where they took it into a sort of a VR setting. So it's telling you that when you're thinking about content now, you shouldn't just think animation. You have to think game, you have to think virtual reality, you have to think augmented reality. And therefore, the experience tells me that when we come again, because hopefully we'll be coming again, Carib Export and everybody else, mm, um, that we will come with those things, that it won't just be films, it will be looking at the future. I, until the last but not least, I experienced a short film in virtual reality world so there was a short film and i was in the environment seeing the animated characters moving around me i was able to walk through the environment those are the things that we need to make sure we stay on top of we, it should not just be 2d and 3d film overall this has been a fantastic experience i want to say thank you for to carib export for doing this because you know often we see that we come here as trinidad we come here as jamaica we come here as barbados this presence this time was really a caribbean experience and bringing in belize we had meetings with um, the french-speaking caribbean islands like we now talk in collaboration i mean what's that right so um, thank you Carib Export for making that happen and I think 
out of speaking with all the other animators, directors, we feel that coming in as a Caribbean presence is so much more important than just coming as a, a little island, because that's what it is, a little island. So thank you again.